Hey everyone. Hey everyone. I'm Tony Moore. And welcome, to, welcome, 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 and welcome, welcome to another episode. Hey guys, it's Tony. I am here with no other than Casey Diedrich, Mr. Wayne Brady, the very beautiful Janet Jackson. <laughs> Welcome to the Days and Tonight charity event. I am so excited to be here. Tonight we are benefiting the Taylor's Youth Association, which is very near and dear to my heart. So thank you so much for coming out. How would Shangela describe DJ, and how would DJ describe Shangela? Oh, you trying to give me the hard stuff today. I am, I am. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Tony Moore, and this is your box office buff. It was no contest, as The Possession was the number one choice for the second week in a row grossing 9.5 million. I was nervous, but I had a lot of fun. Welcome back to another episode of Hoarder Intervention. Today, we intrude upon Erica and Tammy Lynn and their trailer jam-packed with cereal boxes, some as far back as 1888. I mean, did we mention that some still have the original cereal inside? Ooh, yeah, they might want to start checking their expiration dates. Shake on it. Done. Y'all seen it right here. Beyonce Knowles recently fueled rumors that she dislikes Kim Kardashian, following reports that she ignored the reality TV star at the Made in America Festival in Philadelphia on Saturday. I mean, is this even really a thing? Who would actually be Team Kim? Not me. See, mine didn't look as pretty as yours. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's Tony, and this is your Music Minute. The Justin Bieber, Carly Rae Jepsen duet, Build Beautiful, is getting some buzz thanks to some comparisons to One Direction's inescapable breakthrough hit, What Makes You Beautiful. 